on my mama, mama. on my hood. Mm -hmm. I look fly, mm -hmm. I look good. Mm -hmm. Touch my sweat, mm -hmm. this shit too. Mm -hmm. I look fly, mm -hmm. I look good. Be prepared to be mad at me. <laughs> and I don't give a fuck. Okay? All right. I'm doing this camera like this because I had a hat on my head a day. So when I took my hat off, I fucked my hair. Okay? So we're going to do this video in the corner of the fucking screen like this. And y'all going to appreciate this shit. All right? Um, Let me tell y'all something. Y'all about to be mad. And I'm going to tell you why you about to be mad. Because I'm not about to take Portia's side with this bullshit. Okay? I seen a lot of people on my Instagram. They need to leave Portia alone. Fuck Portia. When it comes to this shit, okay? Let me explain what I mean by that, okay? Because not completely fuck Portia. Y'all know I love. Y'all know I love Portia. I follow Portia on Instagram and everything, okay? I love Portia. Don't get me wrong. But they sat down, and we're going to get to the other shit in the episode, but I got to talk about this right now. They sit down to have lunch, and we know every time somebody have lunch, some tea is going to be spilled on the table, and shit will erupt. And in this situation, Kenya asked Portia because Phaedra wants them to go on a camping trip, you know, to commemorate the camping experience she and Kenya had when they went to her camp, which was so beautiful, y'all. We'll talk about that in a minute. But anyway, she wants them to go to a woman's camp. So she asked, you know, Kenya asked Portia, do you, you know, I wanted to know what was going on with your, you know, your anger management situation. And Phaedra did say, Phaedra did say, that fate uh that portia was going to talk to them about her anger management and how she's progressed when really what she wanted to tell her was that she you know uh getting together with everybody is to basically show you know show y'all and show herself that she has made some progress and that there's no ill will and we'll get along we'll have a good time and then everybody can start feeling a little bit more comfortable about being around portia that's what the fuck she wanted to say but that's not what she said her wording led kenya to believe there was going to be some type of conversation about the way she you know be beating people ass all the time okay and that's not what happened, but that's not Kenya's fault. So when Kenya sits at the table and y'all see how Phaedra shut her mouth, drank her tea, and turned her fucking head like she ain't say that shit, but all right, we're going to move along. And Kenya asked her about it like, where? okay, so where are you with that? And she didn't want to answer. She didn't want to answer. I don't know why we're talking about this. I don't know why we're talking about this. What does my anger management have to do with anything? I just, I'm getting negative from you, okay? So... Cynthia and Candy also asked, okay, so for real, how are you doing with that? Like, I felt like sincerely both from Candy and uh, Cynthia, and I felt like it's like this is the first time we're going to be in close quarters since that situation, okay? I don't know what situation went first, okay? I, I know they haven't had like a, a girls group trip in a while, and if that boat ride was the last one, then, you know... That's when Cynthia and her got into that fight. I don't remember because it's been so many seasons and so many fucking vacations and so many fights. I can't remember it all. And then we all know from the reunion what happened with Portia. And that was all on Kenya. I said that, that Kenya fucking provoked her like she always does. And yes, Kenya is a provoker. Even at the fucking table, she was provoking Portia. Why are you going to keep saying, keep asking a question over and over and over again when the other girls are asking better? Let them say it. You can't talk right to a bitch, okay? You not the one that need to ask the question you should have told Cynthia Candy to ask the question because you ain't want to get into it with her you know y'all don't get along which partially I understand that Kenya is asking because we don't get along if we're gonna be together for a couple of nights together in close quarters I want to make sure that we're gonna be cool or if we not gonna be cool tell me how I need to you know move around you so we don't have no fucking problems I felt like that was really what Candy was asking because you know they had had words last time they was together and i felt like this was the opportunity for portia to be like look i'm good i'm straight with everybody okay i'm just getting over being sick i ain't got no energy to argue or fight with nobody so if we go i am fine we ain't got no beef we're cool that's all she had to say but she never fucking said it she just got defensive and then she got up and walked away and 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 then uh sheree and phaser of course have to, to run behind her. And Kenya starts to run behind her. And Phaedra tells her stop. And I'm like please Kenya just stop. You say what you had to say. Let it the fuck go. Let it go. Somebody leaving a comment. Uh, <laughs> about uh, Portia should be mad. Because oh boy quit his job. We are gonna get into that too. But anyway. 
So, you know, they um trying to run behind Portia. Candy and Cynthia were like, child, whatever. Because Candy went off on her and told her, you know, take that shit somewhere else. Because she said that, you know, I don't like the way y'all coming at me. And you piggybacking off of what she said, talking to Candy and them. And Candy was like, bitch, you can piggyback your ass on the motherfucker up out of here. And Portia was like, bitch, I don't know why the fuck you cursing at me. You know, you stop with the motherfucking cursing at me. And Candy was like, I motherfucking curse if I motherfucking feel like it, bitch. Okay? And and, and it is what it motherfucking is. And it can be what it, what, what it motherfucking want to be. You ain't going to check me, boo. Okay? That's how Candy was feeling. And I'm glad she did that because I feel like Portia feels like because Kenya is scared of her and Cynthia is scared of her, she now can, like punk people when she feel like it when she want to jump out of being fucking ditzy okay y'all give her not enough credit okay all these bitches are, are smarter than the average fifth grader okay don't think that it's just kenya with the manipulative shit okay and and if you don't see it that's not my fucking fault but if i'm looking at it correctly i felt like portia punked out and should have just should have just stopped that shit from the jump and say yeah, I'll be cool. I've been, I've been, you know, I've been talking to somebody and, you know, really it's person I want to talk about what we've been talking about, you know, that's for therapy, but I've been working through some issues and I feel like I could work it out. You know, I feel like I could not hit one of y'all. <laughs> I would have, I would have made it a joke. Okay. At the end of the day, if I really wanted, but it's like, man, just curve Kenya with that stupid shit. Kenya does provoke people with Sheree said. And I don't know why Sheree threw some glass breaking shit in it. She, you know, it was a comment, you know, that was basically saying that Matt was her, you know, was Kenya's fault. Now we all know that Matt partially is Kenya's fault, partially because she knew he was crazy from jump. And the other part is because she does shit to incite his crazy and then keeps calling him back for, for recordings. Okay? She is trying to give us a show, people. <laughs> I can't say kill your fucking ass, bro. This shit is so wrong. But at the end of the day, when Sheree said that shit to her, that opened the door for her to say what she said. Which was, now you didn't have somebody beat your ass. Why you don't understand why a woman that's been, been you know, uh abused in some type of way don't want to hear about why it's her fault you know what i'm saying because that's basically how sheree was putting it and i'm like sheree got her ass beat it can't even name the nigga and i forgot his name but i was like oh bitch and sheree was like what she didn't deny that it happened, but she said that Kenya was making a joke of it. And I was like, I didn't get that she was making a joke of it. I thought she was trying to make a point and it was fucking shady and it wasn't the right thing to say or do. But we're talking about Kenya here. I feel like everybody, what do you expect? It's fucking Kenya. It's always like this. It always comes out wrong. It, it always sounds fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's always with some condescending bullshit on top. It's always like that. King is a fucking annoying, okay? But at the end of the day, that does not make her point invalid. It doesn't. It does not make the point invalid. I'm sorry. I Then this is why when people call me biased, I be like, fuck you. I'm not biased because I don't like Kenya. And we all know that. But I'm not about to act like, for one, she didn't look good in that confessional. And two, that she didn't have a point in some of the shit she was saying. She just went about it totally fucking wrong. And she always does. But... Kenya made me like her so much on this episode and she is milking the fuck out of this mad situation. But I liked her because of the way she helped those kids today at that camp. Okay, Lord, today, whenever. Okay, <laughs> the camp experience and how much money, you know, Phaedra probably put behind it. I totally understand why. And it, it just makes you look at Phaedra once again like, bitch, you so amazing. I can't stand you. <laughs> like, no, she's just... She really good on some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, when she does stuff like this, it, it reminds me why I love Phaedra, okay? Because even though she will grandstand and bullshit and pussyfoot and lie, she still is a good person and, and, and tries to really affect change in an area where she feels like it needs it. And that's in a black community and with the youth. And for her to take those poor disenfranchised fucking children from Flint to that beautiful ass lake camp Put them in them bungalows with all the girls in one room and the wood floors and the pink all over the fucking place. 
I mean, yeah, huh? And Kenya had to stay in some little college looking dorm rooms that Kenya's poor ass had to complain about. But say once again how poor she was. Bitch, you slept on a bed before. You know that's a bed. And another thing, talking about cops are in jail. Bitch, no, they're not. There are real beds in jail. They have mattresses. They don't have cots. In what jail? They even got mattresses in OPP. And they don't even have uh, air conditioning in OPP. <laughs> not in the uh, death reward. Anyway, um... Look it up. Anyway, and, and if you know how hot it is out here, you know that that's real inhumane. <laughs> that's real inhumane. But anyway, y'all, uh, you know, getting away from the point. But just can't you shut the fuck up. You don't know what you're talking about. See what I'm saying? Like, I ain't really all the way there. Like, don't get me wrong. But I just, I understood where she was coming from this episode. And I like seeing her in her Miss USA help black girls have, you know, um, confidence thing. I love that about her and Portia and the way they interact. I mean, her and Phaedra and how they interacted with those kids. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. Freaking fracker interchangeable, okay? I mess up their fucking names all the time. It's so easy. Portia, Phaedra. You know, Portia, Phaedra. Portia, Phaedra. It's so easy. It's so easy to confuse those fucking names. Anyway, moving on. Let's actually, since we talked about the camp and all of that and how great that was and how much I wish I would have went there. That looks like an awesome camp. And once again, loved it, it. Okay, it was really like I was getting emotional and everything. Now, let's get on this Tide and Porsche thing. Nah, bitch. I'm going to have to have, like, I feel both ways. I feel both ways in this situation. Todd explains to Portia that he had to leave his job because Portia posts things on social media like her being at the DNC and pictures of her, I mean, and videos with them to on a beach and her in her bikini. And this man works for a conservative man that saw this and came to him and said, you know, you have to make a choice about this relationship or about this job now i don't know what type of job you have but i also know that you can get fired for saying and doing certain things on social media including going to the dnc if i went to the dnc and if it, and it wasn't in a work capacity i could possibly lose my fucking job because it shows conflict of interest when you work in the media okay so you know what i'm saying if anybody wants to know why i don't talk about political shit like that <laughs> That's why, okay, because I need my money, okay, and and at the end of the day, like, that ain't no fucking business, okay, that ain't fucking business, okay, um, I talk about social issues, but I don't do political, okay, but anyway, y'all, um, going back to this shit with Todd, he says he has to, you know, leave his job because of that, he doesn't seem to be worried, um, my question was Portia paying for dinner, or was he paying for dinner, or were y'all going half seats? Okay, because she got so fucking worried. Well, you don't have a job. Like, so how am I supposed to think you can, you know, like you want to have a family with me? I mean, when we first started talking, I mean, I just wanted to have a baby. And, and I was, you know, trying to buy my own house for me and my baby to live in. And now you telling me you don't have a job? I'm like, what? <laughs> so wait, you independent. But this nigga need to have a job right now. Like. It's, I felt like in that moment, she didn't react accordingly. I felt like she reacted the way she felt. And I understand. She said, I'm scared. I'm scared. But it's like, why are you scared? You're not depending on him for your life. Like, you're not depending on him financially for anything. And if he's still taking care of himself, not asking you for money, I don't understand where the upset is. And I felt like the way she reacted to him was kind of cruel. And it was a little mean, and it showed her it's being a gold digger, no matter what you say, bitch. Like, the nigga ain't say I ain't gonna never have a job again, but I don't think, if, as long as he ain't asking you for shit, there's no reason for you to feel any type of weight. The first thing that should have came out your mouth after that was, alright, don't be asking me for no money, because I'm, I, my money ain't escrow. <laughs> Like, you can lie about your shit or, you know, you or you can just say, I ain't got it. Or whatever. Or I ain't giving you shit. Whatever. Whatever you want to say if you don't want to lie about it. But I would have just been like, don't ask me for no money because I ain't got no money. Okay? And what that means is, I ain't got no money for you. Okay? <laughs> all right? But don't be fucking, you know, dating a dude, telling him you love him and all of that. And then he tell you he had to make a choice between you and, and his job. And he shows you and you basically shit on him. Like, that was fucked up. Then the bitch passed out in the in the uh, parking lot at the nail shop, and Shamia at the house taking care of her. Nah, y'all y'all, I wonder if her and Shamia still close after all of this shit. Then played out on TV, and Shamia could see how she went back 
and, and ran to that about that information with Phaedra. But we'll see. Anyway, you know, saying that Shamia fucked uh, Candy and uh, Todd or saying that, you know, whatever that, that rumor was, Portia was basically like saying it was true. So, you know, but I don't think it was really about Shamia. It was more about Portia's personal relationship with having almost had a situation like that happen with Candy and Ty. But Candy said no. So let's not even go there. But we're going to go there when it's time to go there. Okay, we're going to go there when it's time to go there. But when it's time, it's time to go there. Okay, but anyway. So, you know, Shamia taking care of her. And Shamia just tells her that she needs to be careful of Phaedra. Um, because... Because she was on the phone with Phaedra and Shamia was trying to hang up the phone. <laughs> but basically, she was just saying, like, you know, at one time, you know, she talked bad about you, bitch. Like, you know, just be careful of her because she talked a lot of shit about me. Said I slept with everybody's husband. Like, be careful of that bitch. You know, basically like that. And Portia's just like, you know, that's my friend. And then Ty gets there. And correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't Ty come in with ice cream and shit? So the nigga still got money to buy snacks. Okay, like, this is major for me. Okay, like, this nigga came over with shit and wasn't like he just showed up empty-handed asking you for fucking money when you just passed out and you laying up there acting like the reason why you passed out is because you were stressed out about the fact that he don't have a job even though you make your own money, have your own job, and don't rely on him financially. I'm so confused, Portia. I don't understand that. Y'all probably might understand that, okay? But I don't understand that, okay? Like, we're dating... My livelihood does not depend on you. I'm already balling. Like, what you do for a living, boo? I might know somebody. I'll help you get another fucking job. Like, but I ain't about to cry about it, pass out about it, and do all of this. And a nigga ain't even asked me for no money yet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't about to do that. Now, when you start asking me for money, then we got a problem. Then we got a problem. But that hadn't happened yet. So, like I said, she handled it wrong. She jumped in the gun. But I feel like her feelings were valid. Okay? So, moving along, y'all. Uh, Cynthia is... <laughs> go through it. She kicked that man out. It was sad. Anyway, uh, you know, because he was trying to talk to her. He even screamed on it, y'all. But moving along. I'm, I'm done talking about it. Cynthia actually move into candy's guest house and let me tell you something candy you do have that mama joyce in you that mama and let me tell you what that mama joyce in you is that mama joyce in you is to say oh you can come over whenever you need to and have a guest house a guest house and somebody come over and you know they about to close on their house soon so you know they ain't gonna be staying forever okay and you really act like it's such an issue that they showed up with all of this shit. And I felt like Cynthia was being extra fucking courteous. You know we have cereal, Cynthia. And it's like, yeah, bitch, but I know if you want me to use your shit, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how, you know, you already making me feel a little funny about staying over here. So I decided to bring all my own food and toiletries just to make sure I was comfortable. She even said, like, something about her bringing a picture of her and her daughter. Bitch, if I'm going to be here for a week, I want a picture of my baby next to me. What the fuck? I don't want to just look at my cell phone. For what? I got a picture? What? For what? I'm, I'm just saying, y'all. Candy fucking exhausts me sometimes because she had to keep making the comments and rolling eyes and shit. And it was like, don't invite people over if you're going to be like that. And definitely don't build the whole second fucking house if you're going to be like that about it, okay? I'm just saying. Now, I bet she wouldn't feel like that if it was one of her close friends or it was her family member. She would just suck it up and not really say much. But I still feel like, come on now, if you're going to offer, really mean it. You know what I'm saying? Like, really mean it. Don't just say shit to people because you think it's the right thing to say. Uh, yeah, I don't do that. <laughs> That's why I ain't got no friends. I don't want to lie to you hoes. <laughs> nah, I got a few. They fuck with me. They mean too. <laughs> anyway, you guys, uh, that was basically everything that happened. And I basically did the review backwards. But I don't give a fuck. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed doing it. But I know y'all going to be upset with me. But I hope y'all will get over it and come back on anyway. Oh my mama, oh my who, I look fly, I look good.